Many women struggling with infertility suffer from a very complicated disorder. While some are eventually successful at having babies, most face more health risks down the line that can be life-threatening. News Channel 6's Renetta DeBose tackles the dangers of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Don't be quick to judge you know, when you see a fat person, because we're all not lazy. I, I work out. At 30 years old, she's 150 pounds more than she was in high school. Say names like, you're fat, or you pretty to be a big girl, you know, but they don't understand that it's not just, I'm just a big girl. The struggle ranging within Demetria Smith and as many as 5 million other women is polycystic ovarian syndrome, commonly referred to as PCOS. The endocrine system disorder is the most common cause of infertility. While she's a wife, Smith also desires to be a mother one day, but she fears the more serious illnesses linked to PCOS. Because diabetes and high blood pressure and heart disease runs in my family, and then I have PCOS. Dr. John Nestler chairs internal medicine at Virginia Commonwealth University. He says the insulin resistance associated with PCOS can cause type 2 diabetes and heart disease. It will affect your vasculature so that your vasculature doesn't react normally. It will affect your lipids, your HDL cholesterol, and your triglycerides. Probably in my future is diabetes. Tiffany gets glucose tests every three months. She and her twin Kristen fear diabetes and also have a hard time losing weight. While they learned the diabetes drug metformin can help delay the illness or even prevent it, they also learned it may not be the only option. Lifestyle choices um, have a big do to do with PCOS. A whole list of different supplements to take to kind of help you uh, overcome what your body's not doing. Just being deficient in certain nutrients can affect the uh, insulin resistance and the ability to lose weight. The stories are countless, and Sasha Adi is no different. The PCOS Challenge founder holds symposia every year. Be your own advocate, and don't, don't stop until you find what works for you. Don't stop until you find people who are, um, who take uh, physicians who take you seriously. Renetta Dubose, WJBF News Channel 6. And these are a few ways to prevent diabetes, heart disease, and cancer from PCOS. Uh, first of all, by following a healthy diet and getting regular exercise. The drug metformin is used to prevent diabetes. Also, checking blood sugar and blood pressure can help regulate issues.